in the last lecture we have seen some examples on cramer's rule now we will see the last part of the topic that is consistent equations and condition of consistency also to find the area by determinant method uh, here in this lecture we see consistent equations and condition of consistency see the equations the three equations in two unknowns x and y are said to be consistent if by the solution of any two equations the three equations in two unknowns x and y are said to be consistent if by the solution of any two equations the third equation gets satisfied means uh, try to solve here the example is are given on the other hand we say that the equations a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 a3x plus b3y plus c3 equal to 0 1 2 3 they are said to be consistent if by solving any two equations that is say uh, solve second and third the third equation by solving first and sec uh, second and third you will get you will get the values of x and y and by these values of x and y the remaining equation the third equation means the remaining equation remaining equation that is first equation gets satisfied then we say that these three equations are consistent in terms of the condition it comes out to be you try to solve any two equations first and second or second and third or first and third if you take first and third then uh, whatever you are getting the values of x and y put them in second equation and see the rhs is nothing but the expansion of the determinant a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 is equal to 0 that is the rhs is equal to 0 thus the three equations a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to 0 and a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 equal to 0 they are consistent if and only if uh, first row a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 first row is a1 b1 c1 second row is a2 b2 c2 third row is a3 b3 c3 it is 0 the examples here they are of two types show that the equations are consistent actually the examples are three types verify verify means if it comes out to be 0, RHS is 0, then we say that the equations are consistent. If RHS is non-zero, then we say that the given equations are inconsistent or not consistent. And here we are taking the examples like this. Show that the equations x minus y plus 1 equal to 0, 2x plus 3y equal to 8 and 3x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0 are consistent. Here the proper form of equation is x y constant equal to 0 x y constant equal to 0 x y constant equal to 0 and therefore we write here to show that the given equations are consistent means to show that this determinant c 1 minus 1 1 2 3 minus 8 because our hs must be 0 3 minus 2 1 that is 0 and therefore expand this take lhs lhs is this determinant expand this see that whether it is zero it comes out to be zero and therefore our conclusion is given equations are consistent the second one is x minus y equal to 4 7x plus y plus 20 equal to 0 and y is equal to 3x again the same thing we write at first step in the solution to show that given equations are consistent means to show that the determinant first row determinant having first row 1 minus 1 minus 4 second row 1 uh, sorry 7 1 20 and third row 3 minus 1 0 if you put y on this side it becomes 3x minus y equal to 0 but there is no z term therefore we write the coefficient of z as uh, sorry uh, coefficient of z nahi, uh, constant as there is no constant and therefore we write the constant as 0 
सो थ्री माइनस वन जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो एल एच एस अगेन द सेम थिंग एल एच एस टेक एल एच एस एक्सपान दिस सी वेदर इट इज जीरो विच कंक्लूड्स दैट गिवन इक्वेशन आर कंसिस्टंट देन द नेचर इज समॉट चेंज इन नाउ फाइंड के इफ द इक्वेशन एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई इक्वल टू माइनस वन दे आर कंसिस्टंट हियर द इक्वेशन आर कंसिस्टंट इट इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट के वैल्यू ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट के के appears in the second equation and therefore we write the first step in the solution we change here the first step since the given equations are consistent by condition of consistency we must have this determinant 1 2 3 pi u 6 k 3 2 1 on this side it becomes plus 1 Equal to zero. Try to expand this determinant on LHS. So it comes out to be like this. It comes out to be like this. 4k equal to 28, and therefore finally we will get the value of k as seven. Second example on, from this category. Find k if the equations x minus y plus one equal to zero, 2x plus k y minus eight equal to zero. And k x minus two y plus one equal to zero are consistent. Again, the same step we write here in the solution. Since the given equations are consistent, by condition of consistency, we must have this one minus one one. First row, second row is two k minus eight. Third row is k minus two one equal to zero. C k appears in second equation as well as in third equation. And therefore, we will get, I suppose, the quadratic equation in K. Expand this again, the same thing, same thing, same thing, and we will get K square minus nine K plus eighteen equal to zero. That is K minus three K minus six equal to zero, and therefore the values of K are three and six. So see, all these are the examples which are important from the point of view of examination. so try to solve more and more examples from book or whatever is given for homework you try to solve ask the doubts on the groups only do not ask individually so that the group can understand whole group can understand the difficulties and the solution of the difficulties so stay home stay safe be careful thank you thank you once again